This segment of Hack 5 is brought to you by Domain.com. Hello and welcome to Hack 5. My name is Darren Kitchen. This is your weekly dose of Technolust, and this is going to be a very untraditional episode. Similar in that uh, episode of uh, Hack 5 where the house flooded, I'm going to give you an unprecedented back scenes look at how Hack 5 is done and answer some of your questions like what's up with the hat. The answer is I don't feel like doing my hair. Um, <laughs> and so with that, uh, there's a lot of change in the air and I kind of want to show you some of the things going on and uh, get into some of the projects that might be going on and kind of give you an idea of how th crazy things can be on a day-to-day -day basis here at Hack 5. So, including this, that is a 150 inch projection screen thing that I need to be installing this weekend. But uh, <laughs> come on up and uh, I'll show you around the studio. Uh, these here are just some orders uh, looking to go out from the hack shop. So, hello orders. And back there is a uh, chalkboard for some uh, sketches and other segments coming up. And this is what is left of the studio. I know. There used to be a giant camera crane right here, but we just took that down and here are the remains. <laughs> This poor studio. Uh, but we just started adding in a bunch of poles. Paul! What is up? Hey! So we got these Bari poles, uh, or the alternative name would be Manfrotto Auto Poles. But mm -hmm. Same design, essentially. We are mounting cameras to them. Instead of uh, this old school stuff, which I came up with, which was uh, TV mounts. That just kind of swung out. The biggest thing is getting rid of tripod legs. Not yes. a lot of room, so anytime you can stand somewhere without having to dodge a camera is better. There's not a whole lot of space in here, although when you consider that what we started with in 2005 was nothing more than a hundred and square foot, yeah, hundred square foot, ten by ten dining room. This is uh, kind of considerable. I'm sad to see the jib go, but I'm really excited about how we're going to be using this space. This is actually the... Oh, we got a jib replacement though. Oh, we got a jib replacement? What, did, what on earth did you do, Paul? I just gave Paul the credit card and said, uh, build a new studio. Alright, your camera's hanging here. Uh-huh. It can spin this way. Okay. So, uh, uh, cool, spinny cam. It can go this way. <laughs> so... What? This is like that thing at space camp that they stick you in and you're supposed to like stabilize it while you're spinning out of control. Oh my god, you're gonna be able to make people so sick on the live stream. And with LAN C you can zoom in and yeah. focus and everything. So basically you've replaced all cameramen with robots. Well, just one cameraman, at least. I can only spin in so many circles. <laughs> Oh my god. What is this thing called? The Wild Shot. The Wild Shot. <laughs> the guy's videos are pretty funny too. Yeah? Oh yeah, man. It's totally like a guy in his garage that made a company. Oh, that's so fantastic. Hey, I wouldn't know anything about that. Mm. Dude, I love that you've got the whole thing running off of pineapple juice too. <laughs> At least pineapple juices work on everything. Yeah, they work on our lights. What are you working on? Chromecast hack. Cool. Well here, you know what I do have? Hang on. I saw these over here. Let me just grab one of these. Trust that. Yeah, sure. Why not? Just a note three. How do you want to do it? There we go. Got a number five, no disassemble. No disassemble. <laughs> then we've got uh, back here, I guess you put a Chromecast on one of these? Yeah. One of them's a program monitor so we can see what's going out on the live stream. What? Oh yes, more about that here soon. And then uh, the other one will be for IRC. I originally got it to see if I can get it to pump into the ATEM, but it doesn't. Oh, you want to show them the ATEM? It's not, I, I know nothing's hooked up right now, but oh, it's I just want to, I honestly want to do this episode this way because I want to document this chaos and mess 
so that we can look back my, at it and laugh. Yeah, they can look at my office. Yeah. I can't believe we're gonna air this. Yeah, this is an absolute mess. This is my favorite part of Paul's office. Uh, yeah, that's what makes it oh yeah, this is it's, this is what does the magic. It's literally that thing. It's, thing it's, it's to thing. you, right? Yeah, but it doesn't go into the case. It just that's everything right there. Oh, that's oh yeah, that's right. It's like it's that thin is the entire piece of equipment by Black Magic that does all the switchy switchy. So Paul can come over here and. Uh, do all the button pressy, but we'll get into that more later. But uh, <laughs> it's just, it's kind of insane in here. Audio. Yes, it gets, it's either freezing in this office or hella hot. Because October and November are the hot months for, for San Francisco. So that's why we're going to combat it with crushed ice for the cocktails later. Yes. Where's the pineapple bar going? So we've got dedicated green screen set going here. We've got that. That'll be great for like um, hack tip and uh, yeah, hack trivia. Oh, what? So you got new some. green screens? Yeah. I didn't even know you did that. We've got the pop out one. Because it's eight by ten here. Okay. The problem I've always had is when you guys do this. Yeah. Your arms get chopped off, and I always have to find interesting ways to make that work. <laughs> no more choppy off arms. So if you ever see somebody like way, very close to the edge of the screen, there's a reason why they're there. Oh gosh. <laughs> Yeah, and then we've been shooting um, uh, Pineapple University on that, so that's good stuff. What what are you drilling over here? Well, because they don't make what I need, I'm making it myself. There's these, uh, like, clamp bars that they make for this. Okay. But if you just drill a hole in it, so it just has this little kind of universal mouth that they make for everything. Slot it in here. You screw it in. I've been drilling a hole. All right. Big enough for this tripod head mount. Screw together. So whenever I need to move a camera, you just tighten that, slide it out, just pop it wherever you want. Yep. Oh, that's amazing. I just need the right bolt now. Where right bolt where? In here? Into here. So then that would be loose, and then the space would be able to swivel as much as you need it. But this is mostly for the prompter system, so it mostly just be doing this. Mm hmm. So show me how the poles work, because that's kind of like a huge uh, departure. I've never. So there's this one. This is the first one we got. Yeah. So it goes all the way up 14 yep. feet to the ceiling. Yeah, it clocks it down even further than I just like to That's pretty awesome, Paul. So if you want to store it, do something like this. It's there. It's just tension. Yep. What does that do? So you can level it. If you like in there. Oh! Oh, there we go. A little bubble level. That's wicked. Call this the only thing I haven't figured out is uh, cabling. Yeah. But it's we'll run the cables through the ceiling. The I mean, you did cables through the ceiling for that camera right there. Yeah. That's our, our that's, top camera for when we do... That's up there, though. Oh. <laughs> well. It's, it's still the hacker way. Yeah. Yeah. So the core concept here, though, behind the poles that's is that this is going to allow us to do... Um, be able to put these poles everywhere and be able to shoot all throughout the entire room. That means that we can open it up and have a lot more sets for more shows and live streams and things of that nature. Um, and so we're shooting on some different cameras. Where's, where's the old panty? Yeah. So that's, that's the old camera. Yeah. And it's just a big video camera. Well, it's kind of ugly. This is the smaller of the bigger video cameras. This, this big guy, and so, I mean, all right, but so we're going with something a lot smaller now. That's it, standardizing. 
on SLRs. Oh, I can't wait to see how that makes. So I'm actually recording this right now on my phone, the Galaxy Note 3, so it can do the split screen, which is really cool with the front facing camera and the rear facing camera. You got one of these lenses. What on earth is that? That's the 12 to 35. Oh yeah. That's gonna be the This is a really camera. wide angle. That's so cool. It's not fisheye, but. And it's f2.8? Constant. That's sweet. That's the reason why we went with these lenses, just so we didn't have to. Yeah, so it turns out studio cameras are ridiculously expensive, but Panasonic's Micro Four Thirds uh, digital SLRs are, are they even considered SLRs? Because they don't have a uh, they don't have a lens reflex is like the always. they don't have a yeah, um, they call them mirrorless and, or okay. mirrorless system cameras on B and H photos. So. Sure. Well, yeah, it looks like a DSLR. Main cam. That's sweet. And so now we'll be able to clamp a bunch of these on the different poles and then have multiple sets that all tied into the live mixer, which means on Friday nights, we'll break out the ice cruncher thingy and make some cocktails and make some live shows. Nice. And so otherwise, on a regular day, what do we have? We have my mess of an office. Oh look, it's a Snubs. Hi. Hi Snubs. What are you working on? Writing notes for today's segment. Yay! Yeah, what are you uh, What are you recording? Um, I'm looking into this thing called the Crazy Kelly Linux script. Crazy Kelly Linux script. Yeah, I don't know yet. All so. right. <laughs> well, I we'll like Crazy and it. Kelly Linux. Uh, this what is me attempting on? to be. Oh, I'm just shooting Hack Five right now. Oh. <laughs> because. <laughs> um, and and I'm chugging sparkly water like it's going out of style. I'm gonna go bug Sarah. Hey! Hey! Getting uh, caught up from orders over the weekend? Yeah. Oh my gosh. This. <laughs> <laughs> this is an average crazy day at HAK5 and Associates. Alright, hey Paul, what do you say we like pause to a commercial break and then when we get back we'll find out about trivia? No, I'm, I'm gonna have to call you back. Actually, hang on just a second. Hey, you know, it really doesn't matter if you're a monkey in the middle or a hacker working for bananas. If you've got that killer idea, when it hits, you need to snag that domain name and the web hosting fast. And with Domain.com's quick domain discovery system, it's easy to check out and have your website up and running in no time. I mean, I love Domain.com. They're affordable, reliable, they're easy to use, and they're on social media, at Domain.com on Twitter. It makes it a really fun place to do business because they're huge fans of Hack5. So they've got the hookup, get this, 15% off. They're already affordable domain names and web hosting. All you have to do is use the coupon code HACK5 at checkout. That's right, they've got the hookup, H-A-K-5. So when you think domain names, think Domain.com. Yeah. 40 tons of bananas. Welcome back. Now it's time for the trivia question of the week. Now, first off, last week's trivia question was, who invented the walkie-talkie? And the answer was Al Gross. Now this week's question is, Spaceship Earth, which is the iconic Disney World Epcot attraction, was designed by which sci-fi writer? You can answer that at hack5.org slash trivia for your chance to win some awesome Hack 5 goodies.